Hello everyone, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be general tar uh, weekly tarot reading for Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer Ascendant. For card spread, the week is uh, May 21st to May 27th and the spread is from four cards. The first one shows up the topic of your week, Cancers. This is going to be the uh, Hermit. Then we do have the core of the situation that will be the four card. Third one is expressing up the challenges. This is going to be the Nine of Wands. And last but not least, we do have the strength as a guidance, how you should go through the week. And what we do have for you is, uh, without any doubt here, a, a new beginning. Both, card, it, bo both cards are showing it, the, uh, the Hermit and the Fool. But the <clears throat> There is a, a bit of a controversy in between those couple of cards. Now one says that you should take the leap of faith while the other says that you need to take your thorough research about it. And I would go for uh, implanting and exerting intelligence and wisdom in how we should approach that particular new beginning here with the Hermit card. It is very important to withdraw ourselves from the situations, from the world uh, and from the ideas of others as well so we can um, thoroughly uh, scale our feelings and kind of like place them into the right direction. It is all about that, <clears throat> all right? Very important to be said is that we need to be, or you, Cancer, need to be focused on what is substantial for you, either your career, family, relationships, friends, etc., etc., but it could be only one thing, all right? And that's why you need that withdrawal here, so you can really define what is the most substantial thing for your life, because you can really do something about it, you can really do something to improve your circumstances, and not just to improve your circumstances, but to traverse it into a very either profitable or happy and joyful thing. Now, the core of the situation here is uh, <clears throat> the versatility of what you can offer or the versatility that the universe is offering to you of how you can, you know, how you can approach the situation. That being said, uh, uh, many angles will be open for you. That being said, you need to experiment. Uh, you need to be uh, lighthearted as well. You need to exert your art and your creativity into it. Also, you need to follow your intuition and you need to give expression to your ideas. Or you should give expression to your ideas as nothing is defined until this very moment. The bottom line of this reading for you, Cancer, is that this week is going to be severely big week for you, all right? <clears throat> and you simultaneously need to be patient, but in the same time you should not lack activity. And this is a very difficult thing to, to do. Uh, not lacking activity, again, I mean is that you need to find your way, all right? And you need to experiment with the, th with the means you have and as well <clears throat> how those means are working for you because only I cannot say only one way will work for you, but one of these ways will work best for you. And that's why you need to draw upon your intelligence and upon your wisdom so you can obtain that insight you need for realizing how exactly the situation could be traversed into the most profitable or joyful thing you are aiming for. And uh, <clears throat> We have the Nine of Wands here as a, a challenge card pointing that the impatience is the thing that you should not draw from, alright? So you need to have that patience and preparations as well. So you need to prepare very well because uh, <clears throat> any irrational decisions and any, and, and any irrational actions into that direction are going to start forming storm. The good thing here is that you can weather that storm, alright? You may uh, avoid it or you may jump straight into it. And again, Patience is a virtue here, so you can well make a, a thorough and meticulous preparation for what is yet to come into that new direction, which could be your new job, <clears throat> you know, your new position into your current job here, or relationship, etc., etc., but all that it takes, guys, is a um, scoping and um, kind of like take advantage of the right moment possible when you can act upon it. So... <clears throat> 
The strain card here as a guidance again implants patients so uh, we do have three cards out of four pointing to that you need to be um, you need to comb your wavering but as well the strain card as a guidance um, <clears throat> advises us not to how can I place it um, not to be guided by others other people's ideas and other people's opinions all right because as I said you need to draw from your intelligence and wisdom so you can obtain your own personal insight and your personal insight should be the only thing that gives you drive toward you know toward your task and toward your goal in reality but as well <clears throat> The strength card does point that you need to kill the aggression with kindness here because as I said that direction you take may be a direction that there will be people uh, not applauding you but just on the contrary they may try to obstruct you and as they show aggression you need to kill that aggression with kindness and as well you need to be very you need to uh, leave your presence to speak instead of constantly trying to explain yourself why you're doing things and how you're going to do them just more confidence is needed here in order to show to those who are trying to obstruct you because there is always such people all right that they cannot mess around with you and actually you do have full control upon the direction you want to move on forward from now on so that was your tarot reading here for the May 21st to May 27, 2018 Cancers. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.